everyone, Amanda here from scrimpymummy.co.uk and I'm just here really quickly to share a scrimpy tip with you. Um, I have been admiring the beautiful soft brushes that artists are using at the moment for blending their inks and things with. Um, but I went, I did go and I did investigate the price and, you know, they're not cheap. <laughs> so for somebody who's very much an amateur, uh, like I am, that kind of outlay was just too much. And then today I'm in my local Poundland. And it is Poundland that we have in my town. Um, which is, if I just show you <laughs> the branding, it's that one. <laughs> Pound land, not pound world, not pound nothing, pound land. And they have these. And their own brand of cheap makeup is called Pro Effect. Some of the stuff's pretty awesome, I've used it myself and it's not bad. And then I've got these contour brushes and they're the same principle. Um, you know, it's the latest thing for makeup artists as well as for, you know, um, stampers and people that are using the, them for blending. Now the ones that you know, the, the actual genuine article, I can't think of the brand name. The heads are quite a lot bigger than this. This is only a little one. But I just thought to have a go and have a play. What's wrong with a pound? You could buy a few of them um, for different colours and just have a play and it would still be a lot cheaper than buying the real thing. So I did come home and I was eagerly um, trying it out. So we did get a piece of acetate where have I put it here it is because I do like to blend with something um you know slippery like a non-stick mat or a glass mat or something and I put the ink on there and then blend onto my surface so that's what I've done here okay and I then just gently start circular motions and blend and it gives a really lovely dreamy effect um, it's lovely, they're nice to work with and you get a, it's a lovely smooth kind of build up of colour and it's brilliant, you know, because it goes, I mean look at that, it's soft and it's dreamy, it's beautiful, you work your way out and what you do is you, you can build the colour up so you can just keep applying more so they, we can have it darker in the corner and work our way out and that's the basic, te you know, everybody knows uh, the basic techniques of blending and then you could you know use it to darken your edges if you wanted and I just wanted to share that with you because it does work and it does get a lovely blended effect um, I would need to I'm going to have to go to town and get another one so that I can blend different colours um, whether you could blend, start and blend a new colour on that now I don't know maybe you could rub it off like so Let's try it with what colour is going to blend next to that one. Let's have a look. <laughs> I've only got really fully funny colours on my desk. So this one is actually a pineapple punch. So let's give it a try and see if we can get them to blend. Just turn my acetate over. See what it looks like blended next to each other. And it's blending really nice, is there? It's a very, very nice, even kind of a blend as well. I've gone on, pressed on there and then gone lighter there. And that is blending beautifully into that next colour there. So they work and they're a pound. So there you go. Go and hunt for them in your local pound land. I shall be going on Monday morning and going picking up about five of these. <laughs> I think they're awesome. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.